I want to share a, a second thing that the Lord showed me that I would never understand had I not been an adoptee. This is um, part of my Revelation 1211 Romans 828 video. And I declare that my life is important. Everything that happened in it, God is going to use to his glory. So as an adoptee, um, as I stated in my previous video, that um, I was sort of not comfortable in the family, in, in my extended family. I was never really able to to feel that family bond. And um, even I think about my nieces and nephews, they're always making um, fun or jokes or whatever. And, you know, like my my dad's family tends to be really stubborn. I think it's a generational thing or they're you know, even maybe a little bit mean. <laughs> But um, <clears throat> I'm not going to tell you what my, my name was, but I'm just going to make something up. Let's say Smith or Doe. Doe, we'll say Doe. Um, my, they even, my family, they even say, well, you just, you got that, that Doe blood in you. You're, you're mean, you know, you're just, just like that, that kind of stuff. They, they have a, a bond in the family name and in, in that belonging, which I, it, I guess it could be good for most people according to God's plan for their lives, but it wasn't for me. Um, that and being a military brat, we moved around a whole lot. Um, I went to three different high schools, went to several different elementary schools. I was never able to make friends. I was always afraid to uh, make friends because I just knew that they would be taken away from me. And I, I enjoyed being alone. Um, was never able to be in any kind of cliques, which, you know, if you think about, you know, where where the most drama lies in our lives, it's usually in families and in, you know, say, you know, in high school, your cliques or even at work. I never had time to become part of any of that. So the Lord saved me that headache. Um, I also, it wasn't necessary for me to be around people all the time. I, I most of the time ended up being alone because I didn't want to come close to anybody because I didn't want to lose them. So I, I got used to being alone. I did have most of my friends were, were usually in the band. I did make close friends in the band at every school that I went to because they were always accepting. And I, I knew, I guess I would see them again, say, maybe at clinics or at football games or whatever. <clears throat> but I was generally alone, and I preferred to be that way. And I think that was because, you know, of being adopted and being a military, in a military family. And um, God saved me from all of that. I don't need, you know, um, if we have a lot of friends, if we have a lot of things going on in our lives, um, Paul says that, you know, we bec or, or, you know, in several places in the Bible, we become caught up in the cares of the world and we don't have time for God. That's one of the things that benefit me is I don't have a lot of friends. I didn't grow up. I don't have any lifelong friends that um, I'm used to being around. I don't go out I don't do anything and that's just fine with me I spend time alone in the quiet and I enjoy it that way I prefer it that way because I'm okay with not not being surrounded by people and 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 things and noise I I enjoy the quiet and I um, I think I have a special ability you know to, to a special focus ability to to read the word and and listen and pray and meditate I don't mind being alone and in the quiet for extended periods of time and I think that's because as a, as a child I was alone playing with my toys all by myself most of the time or out in the woods by myself most of the time um, sitting quietly at a corner table in the lunchroom 
by myself most of the time, but I, I did um, eventually end up with lots of good friends in each school that I went to, somewhere about a quarter through the year. But that's a good thing. I wouldn't be who I was today if those things didn't, didn't happen. I was miserable then, but now I'm comfortable in solitude and it makes it easier to be alone with God and um, it makes it easier for me to excuse myself from drama or from things going on. I don't have to have a house full of people. I don't have to be around a whole bunch of people. And so I'm content to be with God. And so he took that thing and he turned it into something beautiful to benefit him and his kingdom and to benefit me because I think I'm happier than I could ever imagine being in the middle of a whole bunch of stuff. <laughs> so, yeah, Romans 8, 28, Revelation 12, 11. Make sure you make your videos. Please get the word out to the world that life can be beautiful even coming up out of ashes. Tag your videos with people that you know would benefit. Like if you are, if you're talking about wartime, tag whoever it is down the bottom. Um, sexual abuse, tag down in the bottom. Start from the beginning of your life. That your, your life matters. You're wonderful. You're needed to bring people into God's kingdom. Your testimony, you, what you are, who you are, what you did, what you didn't do, and how God made it right. Let's do this new thing.